Okay, so Dangote is the richest man in Africa. Confirm, no doubt, accepted. But now this is the problem. If Dangote is the richest man in Africa, then you ask yourself a question. Few years ago, cement, a bag of cement, was sold for one six from one six one eight two thousand. As of today, a tenth or nineteenth of the month of March twenty twenty one, cement is being sold for a whooping sum of four thousand naira. A bag of cement, four fucking thousand naira. Now tell me, a man who presumably would be making the sum of two thousand naira, maybe for a bag of cement times 500,000 that will give you 1 billion in a day. Tell me how such a person will not become the quote and unquote richest man in Africa. Monopolizing the market as I speak with you. Dangote as far as cement is concerned has taken 98% of the supply and production of cement in Nigeria. So it celebrated the richest man in Africa. That's fine. At the expense of millions, hundreds of millions of Nigerians. He really don't care. I don't know if he's paying more in tax than maybe any of us. I'm not sure if Dangote is paying 15% of tax. But yet, he's the richest man in Africa. My God. Now, that's not my fear. This is my fear. My fear is this. If Dangote has monopolized the cement market, that's just cement, oh, I don't even want to touch some other things, salt and the rest. Is going into fuel. So in few years from now, let's say two, three, four, five years, Dangote may just be the major again in the oil industry. Well, so that means we're at his mercy. Dangote can wake up one day and decide to sell fuel at 500 naira per liter. We will still buy. The richest man in Africa. In one of the most poorest black nation on earth, we are celebrating. I don't have a problem with his wealth. It's fine to be rich. But how do you celebrate richest man at the expense of hundreds of millions of poor people in Nigeria? Where are we going to? That's the big question. I don't know when we'll get it right in this country. I don't really know. But look, so far... So far, they stare at us for our face. We go so far. We never say anything. We go so